we promised you a kitchen build this week, and a kitchen build is exactly what you'll get. The weather is actually pretty bad outside, which means that the timing couldn't be better just to get started on the kitchen. Yeah. The way that we'll be progressing the kitchen build is just basically doing one module at a time. So the first module that we'll tackle is the one that I'll be there. So it has a sliding shelf there, two drawer, a bread box there, two drawer, some shelves there to put the plates and a cabinet at the top. The inspiration for this module came from a photo that we saw on Pinterest and we're going to be adapting slightly, yeah. right? Yep. Yeah. So, so for building the, the kitchen with a bit thicker hanging groove, it's 22 millimeters. So everything is a bit chunkier, but it's going to be sturdy for sure. Hmm. And it's also, uh, I would say, uh, conscious decisions that the building is a bit heavier because we want to have the rigidness and sturdiness of the kitchen as well to be the, the anchor point of the house with the bathroom because the bathroom is also more framed up than the rest of the house. And we also have more support underneath the center part of the house where all the heavy stuff is going to move. Kitchen week. Let's, Let's do, it. do it. 10 centimeters in from here, right? Yeah. Much will start there. And it goes as high as we can. No, it's going to go all the way up. All the way up. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Sounds good. About 10 centimeters. 10 centimeters recess there. This means that we can use the side of this cabinet with some little hooks and some little things if we need to. Yeah. Yeah.
you know, so yesterday you built the base for the cabinet. Mm -hmm. Yes? Is there anything that our viewers need to know about this step? Not really. It's just that we're building on the fly. So we, I mean, the blueprint you have is, that's the blueprint. Yes. So you just have to build as we go along. And there's multiple ways to do it, I guess. You can build the sides first on the bench, and you can uh, build the bottom cabinet first and stack them on the high, but we have decided to build them one board at a time. Yeah. So today we're dividing and conquering. You're going to be taking care of our kitchen cabinet. Well, there's stuff that needs to happen outside on yeah. the homestead. So, progress is progress. Exactly. All right, have a nice dinner. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it. Do it.
certainly wasn't a great one. Uh, yeah, so basically what happened, the stone at the top cracked. And this is why you don't do barbecue with natural Portuguese stones. I mean, maybe we can still do something with that until these stones crack. Never know. That we can probably try now, but let's see. Okay, not too doughy. A bit burn. A homesteader cinnabon. Not bad. Too much greatness in the oven. Oh well. Get to it. We will. You can always buy a grill mm. and yeah. put it at the bottom and then just use it as a. Uh, you can buy those inserts exactly the same way. Right? Yeah. Okay, so this is a pretty cool tip. Just if you're running out of patty, you can use some sawdust with some wood glue. Mix it all together, and then you can use that to fill up some cracks. Yes, Dan? Yeah, let's make sure that you use the same wood that you, you cut from as you're filling up from. That's a good tip. Bye bye. I need to pick up the map. Just to see. Can you tell me it doesn't matter if it goes down as long as it doesn't pick up. It seems to be some of the same. Thing. And yeah, all the. How are you guys? All of this guy. Bye bye. I'll just come to the.
by tonight, but we're still hard at it. Then just finish putting the angle grinder in there. And my next task is going to be to fill up the gaps everywhere here, everywhere with that little mixture. Sorry about the light, it's quite late. So and we only have that solar light and a few lights there. Right Dan? Yeah. Yeah, it is what it is. And we are still listening to the greatest hits of the 80s and 90s. This is the kind of thing you can use. It's really hard at first, so you gotta work it to make it pliable, basically. A bit low, probably. At some point, you're going to end up with something like this. But, yeah. Yeah, keep on working at it because it's not that consistency everywhere. Showed a shot with olive oil, you didn't say a single thing, and then we got lots of questions about that. Uh -huh. So now we have some olive oil. Why are we using olive oil in this part of the project? To sweet the bread. Oh, okay, perfect, excellent. So, this is going to be our like bread chopping area, and we kind of want to go with a natural oil that is non toxic. The product that we've put in between the joint is also an oil, non-toxic based product. So, the effort. Do your own research. Yes. <laughs> so we just... Yeah. Adi, adi, adi. It's gonna work for now. It's got to be. I'm really liking this. Well, Baydan, you're going to be building some drawers today? Hopefully, yeah. So you're building drawers, and I'm going to be standing, and we're still rocking the 80s greatest kids.
This piece of wood, wood that we're using for the bottom of our tours, right Dan? Yeah. Where does that come from? From the ten pound fifty. That's right. So when we had our shower tree, our huge shower tree being delivered, it was wrapped in this. And then we didn't throw it away because we thought, huh, this could come handy at some point. <laughs> and indeed handy it does come. Now there's yeah. We don't have to take some of our top top quality wood for some bottom of the drawer. Yeah, normally I mean the way I see it, that stuff is thicker than the IKEA stuff that you usually get. Yeah. And we have to put um, something in the middle as well to hold up the little things so we're ready to set it up. Yeah. So that's gonna be perfect for drawers. Yeah. Upcycling. Upcycling. And free.
this video tomorrow. About my battle scar, well, you would have seen how it happened in the last segment. So basically the um, disc, paper disc of the round sander blew up in my face. Good reminder, wear safety glasses if you're gonna be sanding. I'm just more telling this to myself, really. You finished waking late yesterday, huh, Dan? Yeah, it was late night. Like nine o'clock or something. Yeah. There was no light anymore, but we couldn't really show you the uh, inside the drawer how it turned out. So that's that. That big drawer is going to be used to store some kind of huge mason jar glasses, like what we have there. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be great, baby. I think it's such a solid build. It is, it's very solid. Let's put some adjustments on the drawer front. Look away. midday and while I would love to paint the inside of those drawer the truth is there's still some tabby that isn't quite dry yet so you're gonna get building the upper part mm -hmm. and I'm gonna get editing this video because you'll see it tomorrow and so yeah so this week what you've seen is basically the structure of our kitchen and three drawers being built but next week we're continuing make no mistake yeah it's gonna be we said initially minimum three weeks. I think we're gonna stretch that time period a bit longer because as we go along, we do some modifications of the build and we change some stuff, which obviously takes a bit longer because of time, but it's a bit fiddly, but we get it done. Anyway, progress is progress, yeah. and next week you'll see the rest of this kitchen build. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. See you next week. Ciao, ciao. Bye bye.